How's it going, everybody? Train wreck here. Uh, it's been a little while since I've done a couple videos, so I figured uh, I'm going to start a, a couple projects here on uh, some of my engines. I would go back and, unfortunately, I'd go back and cover some of the engines I've already done work on. Unfortunately, I never did a video on this one because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. Uh, this was the first engine I've weathered with an airbrush. So I figured I'd take some time and kind of go over a couple things that I did and things that I messed up on and a couple things I tried doing different with this one. So first off, I did this engine with, with only two colors, a light gray and then a rusty brown. Uh, I kind of wish I did a little bit lighter, uh, more of a brown instead of a red. I was going more for that dirty dust look more than rust but it kind of it kind of got both at the same time and for my first engine i'm i'm very happy with it i cut out the coal that it came with and recessed it a little bit now i have to go back and touch this back up because of the way the glue dried and it's given that white look but I cut out the coal load, put in a piece of plastic card, put a V to it, and added my own coal load. The reason I did this, I understand anytime a steam engine went out before service, it was topped off. Well, look at any anyone's coal loads and they're overfilled. I wanted to try something a little bit different. You know, hey, this engine's been out all day coal loads depleted a little bit and it's heading back and it'll get filled up for the next shift in the morning so that was my plan here uh, I still have to get a shovel I'm waiting for one of those to come in and that's going to go right in the back right around here uh, the only reason I'm doing that is because one of my books I have on the BNA almost every single picture I've seen of these there's a shovel sitting back there so it's a very small detail, but it's going to give it something else. And I still need to go back and I want to add a little bit of overspilled coal to the sides. So another detail I ended up doing, uh, it's a little hard to see. So I added a crew figure. And if you can kind of, you can see, I know you can see the white. But on top of that, it is um, painted gold or, or brass color. I wanted to go in and actually paint the needles on the gauges, which was my plan. But once I saw how well you really can see it in there, I figured that's more than enough. I did this on both sides for the engineer and fireman. The inside of the cab is painted green, but uh, I really didn't have to do that. And even now, maybe if it had a cab light, which I, you know, maybe, maybe someday will happen. Uh, you'll be able to see this a little bit more. But as of right now, just the cab figure and the gauges, I, I'm very happy with. Same thing on this side. Added some gauges and added a crew figure. Now probably one of my favorite features of this engine which I didn't have to do any extra work to whatsoever because everything was already there for it was adding the rope for the bell K-Line did I love K-Line's tooling for their steam engines they did a fantastic job with this the holes are already there all I had to do was string it all I ended up doing when we got to the cab is I pushed it through, glued it, let it dry while I was doing all my cab work, and then left my bell end long, tied that off, put a little bit of glue on it, and cut it. And I unfortunately, I went a little tight because uh, I wanted it to droop a little bit, 
but with the weight of the bell, as you can see, the minute I try to droop it a little bit, it the bell moves. But it it's something that, believe it or not, you know, stands out, and I'm very happy with it. And I'm I'm sorry I lied about only using uh, two colors on this, but I only used two colors with the airbrush. I ended up using I ended up using some null oil. Those of you who have seen my weathering projects already know uh, know about that. But you can see I added some here, a big spot over here. Anything where you know water would be dripping and somewhat drying, I, I added it to there. A very minor, minor detail. Unless the engine's sitting, you're not going to see it. Unless you know about it, you're not going to see it. But the level I'm trying to bring things up to now, it was it was a no-brainer for me. So there you have it. That's uh, what what little I did on this engine, and from what it was to what it is now, it, it's I love how much of a difference weathering makes to a model. I was against it for years. Like, why would I attempt to paint something, even with my background in tabletop gaming of, you know, painting? Why would I paint something I spent this much money on just to ruin it? And now I'm pretty much weathering everything I can.